Welcome to my review of the 2015 English Standard Version Reformation Study Bible Version 3. In this video, I'm going to use still photographs instead of live video to show you some of the more interesting aspects of the Study Bible, and I hope you enjoy it. So, without further ado... The cover of this Bible is brown genuine leather, and the logo that you see of the burning bush in the upper center of the Bible is embossed into the cover, so it will not rub off. The book introduction scene here is typical of book introductions seen throughout the Bible. One precedes each book of the Bible. What you see in the gray box here is called a theological note. The theological notes in this Bible cover a wide range of topics, including things like the virgin birth of Christ, the crucifixion and resurrection, predestination, and eternal security. You'll also notice below this box, you'll see some typical notes. They are highlighted in bold lettering and are followed by the notes which I believe are about a five and a half or six point font. What I want you to see in this picture is the column references down the middle of the page and the right and left hand sides of the gutter. This makes it difficult to read the references. Also, if you'll notice in this picture that the text is not line matched. However, there is minimal ghosting except where there's no text on the page. It looks to me to be about an eight-point font, give or take. The next features found in this study Bible is topical articles. They cover a wide range of topics, including things like apologetics, New Testament textual criticism, and interpreting scripture by scripture. The next feature up for grabs here is the creeds, confessions, and catechisms. Included under this topic are things such as the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, the Chalcedonian Definition of Faith, even the 1689 London Baptist Confession. Okay, this page is showing you some uh, typical pages from the Concordance, which is fairly long. The thing I want you to notice about this is that the word headings are in bold letters. The rest is in plain text. However, for both of them, I suggest you put on your reading glasses or get out your magnifying glass because the print is pretty small. Next, we have a one-year Bible reading plan and a table of weights and measures. Finally, we come to the full-color maps in the back of the Bible. As you can see, they are beautifully rendered. However, as you can probably tell by the glare on the page on the left, they are printed on glossy cardstock, and that glare can make it difficult at times to read the small print of the names of the cities, towns, and countries on the maps. I do want to point out, though, that these maps do not go down into the gutter. They are well centered on the page and are easy to read. And that brings us back to where we started. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And don't, if you're not a subscriber, then please hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notifications whenever I release a new video. Also, feel free to comment on what you thought about this video, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you thought I could do better, what you would like to see. Any comment that you would like to put in there is fine by me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed day, and God bless you.